Hi guys, Danny here and it's been a minute again, but not to worry this time I'm back with a full guide on three of my favorite ways of sending files from iPhone to Windows and vice versa, of course based on popular demand. Anyways, let's get into it. Alright, so the first method I have for you guys is a platform or website called snapdrop.net. One, you're going to need a Wi-Fi router. For me, I have my Wi-Fi connected, so what I'm going to do is to connect my laptop to that wi-fi router and also let me bring up my phone real quick so i'm going to connect to that same wi-fi quickly uh we're going to head over to my browser on my laptop and search for sorry just a plain person snapdrop.net open this and on my phone as well we're going to search for snapdrop.net this is one of the downsides I have with this website. This is supposed to be the easiest uh, way of sending files between Windows or even Android to iOS, but sometimes it glitches and it doesn't really always work. Most times I find it to work when I restart or like you can see, you just refresh the page and it shows automatically. Now you can see that it's showing both the iOS device and my laptop with like weird looking names so now how easy is it for my case i think it's from your iphone to your pc so what you have to do is just click pc sign or the pc symbol or icon wherever your file is just select where it is let's see photos let me send uh let me send let me just send this yeah then click add it's going to be here and it's going to send okay so the speed also relies on your internet strength not really it doesn't really take up data but just the strength of the wi-fi itself that's what matters this video file is like a couple mb 16 mb not really that big but i can see it took some time also if you are trying to send from your windows to your iphone same process just go here let me say send this file send and you see it on your iphone that was pretty fast okay just all you have to do is click save download and for ios it actually saves to your files then from your files you can just save it to your gallery i'll show you guys how to do that real quick so you go to downloads uh it's right here then you can just click share and then say save video and it goes straight to your gallery so that's how you use snapdrop uh snapdrop.net i'll leave a link in the description so you guys see all right overall i'll give this a solid 7 out of 10 for ease of use it's actually very easy to use click the video on your screen to see the second method where i'll be going in depth on how to use my favorite method itunes also one bonus software recommendation all right i'll see you there